Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of EX Atomic Shot, a short series meant to fill in time until we begin Season 2 of the Atomic Shot Podcast. Here we'll be doing short reviews on Godzilla video games or other kaiju-related games I happen to own. My name is Tyler, co-host and editor of Atomic Shot, and today we'll be looking at Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Released in 2002 for the GameCube and Xbox, this game was the kaiju fighter longtime fans of the Toho monster films were clamoring for. Whether or not it aged well in 18 years is still up in the air. The title is an obvious nod to the 1968 film Destroy All Monsters, though the game itself has nothing to do with the movie. The minuscule plot of the game involves aliens known as the Vortac, invading the Earth and controlling most of the monsters there, as well as a few space kaiju in a bid to take over the world. You, as the monster of your choice, which is immune to the brainwashing, takes on the controlled monsters one by one until you take the fight to the base of the space goobers in a final showdown with Mechagodzilla. Or King Ghidorah, if you're playing as Mechagodzilla. It's a basic arcade ladder, but the main story is small potatoes next to the actual gameplay. Destroy All Monsters Melee is a 3D arena brawler with a relatively small but diverse cast of monster characters. There's Heisei and Millennium Series Godzilla, and Giras, Megalon, Gigan, King Ghidorah, Destroya, Rodan, Mecha Ghidorah, Orga, and Mecha Godzilla. Apparently in the Xbox version, Mecha Godzilla 3, or Kiryu, from the then new Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla, was added to the game, or rather recycled as he was cut from the American GameCube version in favor of Heisei Mecha G. Anyway, it's a one-on-one -on -one monster brawl where you can destroy the nearby buildings and trample tanks that just happen to be there. You attack with punches, kicks, tail swipes, and a long-range beam attack that can be charged as long as you have the meter for it. You can also grab and throw your opponents, as well as chunks of buildings or cars, as an alternate long-range method. The Vortac also pop in to intervene by shooting at both monsters with electric or freeze rays, and drop power-ups that restore health or stamina, and let you enter a rage mode, where your attacks are stronger for about 20 seconds, and gives you access to a super move that drains it instantly. There's also a drop that has Mothra pop up to help you out by shooting her beams at the opposition, so that's cool that she made it in at least. Destroy All Monsters Melee is a mindless but fun monster mash that I find is most enjoyed if you have a group of friends to compete against. The biggest downfall for me is getting used to the clunky control and not losing my cool trying to unlock all the characters and stages. It's all done in adventure mode, where the aforementioned story ladder resides, and if you aren't on your A game with your monster's moveset or base controls, you will get your ass whooped until you eventually run out of retries and have to start the run all over again. However, if you just want to jump into fights without the baggage of unlocking everything in adventure mode, there are cheat codes that give specific unlocks as long as the game is booted. That way, you won't be stuck with the basic three monsters, but just pick 90s Godzilla and Megalon and leave pouring Gears on the bench as usual. Overall, Destroy All Monsters is not a good fighting game in the traditional sense but it's a fun party brawler that's at least worth a few laughs of friends. It's a game Godzilla fans can sink their teeth into. If you want more Godzilla goodness in your life, check out the Atomic Shot podcast, where my buddy Ben and I talk about every movie once a week. It's all on chartshot.com, along with a plethora of good stuff. Hell, follow these fine gentlemen on their socials. They're all so talented and so amazing. You can also follow my stuff too if you want. And if you enjoyed this video, tune in next week for the ambitious sequel, Godzilla Save the Earth. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.